Good morning, Kintry. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. This is Joel James coming to you from KXKR, bringing to you all the best oldies in town. Well, the only oldies in town, but that doesn't mean we're not the best. I want to start this morning off with one of my favorites from 1968 by The Four Tops. Here is Reach Out. I'll... Let's make this fast. I have to be back in an hour. Okay. Sign it. No. I'm not signing those tests. When I make a commitment, I stick to it. Come back. I can't. Then this was a waste of time. Joel! Joel, wait! Tell me why I should waste another minute. Please. So now you want to talk? <laughs> I'm not the only one who has trouble in that department. You hide things from me. Why do you think I do that? It's because you don't listen. I do listen. I'm listening to you right now. I may ask the wrong questions, but I can't fix things on my own. Some things can't be fixed. That wasn't your decision to make when you were making it for the both of us. Don't say I didn't want to hurt you. I'm already there. I really must be pathetic to you. I mean, I'm sitting here begging you not to throw away eight years of marriage, and you don't even care. I have felt so trapped and overlooked in this marriage. I gave you my life before I even realized what that meant. To me, I thought you were worth it. I tried to give you the world. He gave me Oregon. Why couldn't that be enough? Because like you, Joel, I'm not content to remain stationary. I'm not stationary. We built a life here. We made a name for ourselves here. You built a life here. You're the one who made a name for yourself. You're the voice I hear on the radio every day, whether I want to or not. I'm just Mrs. Joel James. God, you're selfish. It's not who I am, it's what I do. And who am I? What do I do? You see, that is the question I ask myself every morning. That is why I can't come back. But we could work on that. It's not in your nature. Because you can't change me. Just because we're 
afraid of being alone doesn't mean that we shouldn't be. That's hypocritical. You hate being alone. You're always off doing something with someone. Is there someone else? No. Are you lying to me? No, are you? You just prefer to be alone? You know, after eight years, I think I might prefer the empty bed. Unless you need a fuck. That is not fair. Is it? How many times have you called me up in the middle of the night and I've rushed to your hotel? I didn't even care that you were using me. I was trying to find a way back to you. But you always had to insist on staying the night, even when you promised that you were going to give me my space. Haven't I given you enough space? Was it so wrong for me to want to hold you? You would constantly smother me. I just finally gave up because I couldn't keep going on giving you false hope that this was all gonna work out. Fuck you. This isn't a mercy, this is a mistake. Do you even know what you want? I know that I don't want this. So I get left behind. Stop acting like you're gonna be completely lost without me. I know about Courtney. And it's okay, I, I don't blame you. I mean, after all, you're not the only one who got offers. We were separated already. One month. You were gone. One month. You've been gone longer than one month. Remember when we went to Cannon Beach last year and I came up behind you and I tried to kiss you on your neck? Remember? You pulled away and that wasn't the first time. But you already had one foot out the door and after you left, I just, I needed to go to somebody that can help me cope because you weren't there. And I knew that this was coming. No alimony. We split the liquid assets and you can keep the house. I'm gonna give you enough already. Joel, I'm not the one who broke the marriage vow. Debatable. And I really don't wanna go to court. So are you willing to accept what I'm giving you? Or we can make a mess of it. And I think you'd like to avoid the publicity. You're willing to go that far? Do you still love me? I love who we were, not who we are. That's marriage. It's taking the bitter with the sweet and still being able to stand together through the worst. Tell me, how do you do that when the worst is the person that you're tied to? What do I do to deserve this? put me in a beautiful cage, and you expected me to be grateful. Wow, that's how you feel after all these years? Fine, here. Here you go. I'm giving you your freedom. So what are you gonna do with it? Do you remember that? marketing firm in New York you said I was wasting my time with? Well, I start there at the beginning of next month. I'll arrange for movers to get the last of my things. You're leaving Oregon? It's for the best. I don't belong here. Hmm. This is yours. Keep it. Sell it. I don't want it. Was it just the wrong time? I don't know. You owe me an honest answer about one thing. When did I lose you? When you went to bed with Gilda. 
and you woke up with me. What does that mean? Think about it. No, I hadn't heard that. Hmm. Hey, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Give the boys a hug for me. All right. Bye. Hey, it's uh, me, Tess. Uh, I know, uh, color ID. Right. I just got off the phone with Carolyn. She said that you moved to Seattle. Morning, Joel. I just wanted to call and say congrats on the new gig. Well, it's still the same gig, it's just better equipment, more listeners. <laughs> still. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, how's everything with you? It's great, it really is. I just put a down payment on a condo last month. Finally, I own my own place. Well, I'm happy for you. Are you? You know, I... I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, it's okay. And I, we both got everything we ever wanted. Joel, I never said I was sorry. And I am. It's okay, Tess. Thank you for saying it, though, but honest, it's okay. It was all for the best. Uh, uh, I have to go. Uh, I'm on in 20 seconds. Hey. Yeah? Good luck, Tess. You too. Bye. Good morning, Seattle. This is Morning Joel. It may be cold in your commute, but in here we're giving you the hottest hits of the 60s and 70s just for you. So let's kick your mornings off with a little cream in your coffee. Here is the sunshine of your love. What if, like, uh, the bear wore pants, but, you know, like, those kind of fun pants? Like, you know, they could be red and they can have patterns and, like, 